So it took a long, long time, but it has finally happened. Tom finally repaired Fred. I threatened to kill him, and I did kill him. I threatened to blow up his base, and I was this close, this close to blowing up his base, but he finally returned Fred. So he's in my shop, which isn't ideal, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we've got Fred back. So yeah, that's already a great start to the episode. Hopefully uh, good things continue from there. So yeah, welcome back to Friend or Foe. So here we are, PvP has literally just ended, so we're not going to be fighting right now, but we can fight soon, so there's a little message, found Freddy is at your shop, so there we go, he finally went and, and returned him, okay, never ever uh, let Tom near Fred again, that's, uh, that's my motto, um, so yeah, I, I, you know what I can do, I can use my new little uh, chest room to brew a potion, I need a proper brewing room, I admit, but for now, we've got this nice little sneaky place here we can just put stuff in, so as you can see right here, we have nether wart, so I'm thinking first we need some potions of strength, that definitely needs to happen, so we're going to add... Actually, we're going to go and grab, I think, <laughs> I'm just picking up everything but what I actually want. We're going to do that. We're going to need one, two, three of these. I've also got a little, you didn't notice this, did you? But a little trap door here, okay? So fill up these three water bottles. We then chuck them in there. Drop that in there. I am also going to need a blaze powder. Then, of course, I can just use the hopper so we can put one blaze powder. There we go. So that's now going to brew that. I want to make some harming arrows. That definitely I want to have. Um, yeah, I kind of want to get revenge on Big B today. I'd like to try and take him down if possible. Okay, that's... That's one thing I'd like to try and do. I have a lot better stuff on me today, which is a little bit worrying. I'm thinking about giving Squid back his life taker, just as a thought. Also, I've left a trap in Big B's base. Whether he falls for it, I have no idea. He might he might, or he might not. It's literally just when he goes out of his door. It's literally the same thing he did to me um, here, but it, hopefully it works. You do, I don't know if it will or not, but we uh, we shall see. It's pretty well hidden, so hopefully it does work. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of good stuff on me. We just have to be, we just have to be careful. You know, if you lose it all... These things happen. That's all we can say. You know, we lost it all once. I'm sure we can afford to lose it all again. Uh, but I want potions of strength, of course. That does make a lot of sense. We can also make some more golden apples. So we might as well uh, go and do that quickly. So <laughs> find the right place. Uh, we've got two apples. Uh, so we're going to need, I think, 16 gold. So let's just go and put all of that right there. Okay. Where's the crafting table? There we go. They're here. So we'll put these here. Uh, and I think six golden apples should hopefully, hopefully, hopefully be enough for a fight. Okay. We have my fire resistance. Never been seen without it. Okay, I've got my torches there. I want to put them to one side. Um, I don't know if I need to carry the axe, to be honest. So I'm going to put that in this ender chest. I think that's a good idea. I have a lot of tools going about in there. I'll be sad if I lose this pickaxe. It's a really good pickaxe, but um, it's kind of... I think I've got to keep it on. Do I need... Yeah, I, don't want to, I want to have a pickaxe on me. Maybe I go and get another pickaxe. That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Why not go and find another pickaxe? Okay, because you know somewhere I'm going to have one lying about. We might as well not carry the silt touch, you know, best pickaxe I have. Why don't we bring a, a spare one? Because I have that much, like, stuff of other people's. Look at that. Efficiency for and break. Let's just take that, okay? So, we've got that one. You know what? <laughs> you name it. I mean, that is an epic pickaxe as well. That's even better than... Look at... I mean, I don't have an ender chest here anymore, but that's, like, a lot better than any other pickaxes I have. Look at this. Um, I have a Fortune 3 pickaxe here. Look at this. This one's got mending on it as well. Who did I steal that off? I have no idea, but we're going to put that in there then. Uh, we need like a tools chest, don't we? So what do we have here? Let's make this the tools chest, okay? So we'll we'll put that there uh, and we'll put that there, okay? So that's that's that. I'll probably put that in the ender chest. Actually. You can see I'm like super all over the place. I am carrying another ender chest. Um, probably not worth carrying that at the moment then you would say because I can't pick it back up because obviously the silt touch is what allows me to pick that up. So we'll put that in the chest right there. All right, I don't really need the flint and steel, but it, it feels good to have it, okay? We've got all of the uh, potions of strength, perfect. Uh, I want to make some tip towers. That's the other thing uh, definitely on the agenda. So let's go and, uh, and do... I don't know how many we want, to be honest. Let's, let's just do this, okay? So we'll go ahead. I'm going to make, yeah, some more harming arrows because I just don't have any of them about, and I feel like they're super, super helpful. So let's just, yeah, I'm going to make some, some of those quickly. So these three are brewed. I'm going to go ahead and do the same for this. So if I put all those in there, in there that will uh, that'll go ahead and do it for me. And I'm going to go and make these... Uh, these tip towers, okay, so we're going to go and put these around, all right, and basically, because if you spam someone with harming arrows from really up close, you basically just do, like, crazy amounts of damage, okay, I've not got a punch bow here, but if you just keep doing this, okay, okay, obviously I'm using the wrong arrows here, okay, so if we swap those around, it should work, there you go, so if you go like this when you're close to somebody, they're going to die before you know it, because they're taking harming too non-stop, so that's, that's kind of going to be my little tactic, because when Big B killed me, we were really close quarters, so I'm going to see if I can do that again, maybe, uh, yeah, just close quarter, do that, see what happens, we'll, we'll, we'll see, okay, it's not confirmed, but 
uh, or give it a go. Uh, they're brewing, so I've got to wait for that to do. And then, I think I'm kind of ready for battle. I'd like to have more apples. That is one thing that I ideally get, because I have, as you can see, 18 gold. So I could make two more apples in theory, but I'm not going to worry so much about that. Um, we've got my potions of strength. We'll keep all of those. You know what? Hopefully things work out today. Hopefully things work out. There we go. They've now brewed. We'll go and go to here. And now I think I'm going to go and head probably over to Big B's base and see what happens. Okay, I'm going to go and uh, yeah, see what he's up to. All right, so we'll go like that. Perfect. Um, I'll keep just a couple of arrows there just uh, for the infinity effect. You only technically technically need one, but I always like to keep a few extra just in case something goes horribly wrong. Um, yeah, so... There's the plan. I will go and visit Fred on the way. Of course, we've got to go and visit Fred. You know, now that he's been returned, we'll go and see him. It is, it is snowing. It's a blizzard. It's a lovely night to be out. <laughs> I should be in bed, but yeah, I don't know what everyone else is up to, to be honest. I don't know where Squid is. I'm going to guess at his base. I could go over to Squid's base, but I feel bad. He keeps dying at the moment. Um, So I'm going to leave Squid to here. <laughs> Squid's not my main target, okay? He's died. Uh, well, he died. I killed him last episode. Big B's the, the, the one, you know, like he's... He's, he's starting to be the the big my threat. I find like everyone else I, I hasn't really killed me. I can't remember the last time anyone else sort of killed me like in normal combat. Like obviously in in arenas, other people you know fought me. These things happen, but out and out combat, Big B's the one that has killed me. I think three times, maybe more, maybe more. So he's sort of the one that I'm want to take out the most. Basically, he's sort of my biggest target. I don't know what he's up to. He must have left his base by now. I'm, he didn't die, so I'm guessing he. Uh, Whatever way you look at it, he managed to escape my trap. <laughs> my little, um, I don't know exactly what it is. It's, it was just a, it was a very sneaky trap anyway that, uh, that made him fall down a hole. I don't, I don't think he fell for it though. Yeah, he's definitely been here. He's definitely worked something out because, uh, he's not fallen down any holes and everything seems okay. Yeah, he worked it out. Oh well. The question is now, well, we know he's been outside, but is he inside or is he outside? Okay, let's have a little look around. Don't hear him. Okay. We'll go down another layer. Oh, uh -huh. there he is. You got to get revenge in these situations, people. Okay, um, I'm taking a chance here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Here we go. Now the the strategy here is to gapple up. Okay, he seems way too confident, does Big B? Okay, here we go. This is it. The spamming strategy. This is it. I, I, you can see my uh, my focus there. He's also hitting me quite hard. I'm trying to spam him so much. He is running away a lot. Super like nervous here. Oh, <laughs> I can't. I can barely talk. Focus is real. He's going through some gapples here. I see another one. I think the harming is hitting him hard here. He's at my mercy now. Need to eat one more gapple. Still got a bit of... No, I haven't got strength. Let me drink my strength. Uh-oh. Um, let me build out of here. Ooh. I tell you what, this is an intense battle. I mean, we both brought our, uh, our, our A game here. I'm now out of gapples. I don't know if he is or not. Oh no, oh no. He's hurt though. You know he's hurt. I've got doing the jumping strap up to the top. Come on.
We got him! Revenge is ours! And look at this. He was going to try and get us in this trap as well. He was so close to getting him in, getting me in that trap, but... Revenge is mine. My goodness, you can you could you I was I was I was intense. We ran out of gapples. He must have run out of gapples at the same time. We won that because we jumped up there. We did the jumping strat. Um Oh man. <laughs> no words to describe that one. That was um That was crazy. That was crazy, crazy intense for sure. Um man. I hear someone else. Someone else here. Okay, let me. How's my armor? It's okay. I hear somebody drinking, so. Ah, oh, Squidoodly, what are you doing here? Let's um let's go ahead and open that back up then, just in case. Squid Squid might be looking for a cleanup option here, you know. I have no gapples, so he's in a strong position. I only have nine arrows of harming as well. Oh no, why have I brought us out here? Okay. I didn't expect the sneak attack from Squid. It may be a time to uh, try something different here. Okay, he's uh, he's bailing already. <laughs> what on earth, Squid? What is Squid's plan here? I wish I knew. I think there's a different tactic to be required for Squid, okay? Forget the totem. It's bring the shield out and do it that way. Let the shield take the hits. Yeah, you see? Squid's a... Uh, a different sort of play. Where did he end up to? Oh, uh, he's where's he gone? He's end up off. I can't see. Oh, there he is. Don't know if I can keep up with him here. We found him again. Okay. Okay, zombies, get him. Get him, zombies, go. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he's got a plan or not, but I don't have strength anymore, so that's definitely a uh, an issue. Completely missed my pearl there. Not the best of pearls. Okay. We're landing some shots. Bow battle with squid. Nice. He's got his swiftness going. Okay, where did he end the pearl to? He went over this way? Yeah. A bit of a battle of the pearls now here. I'm getting kind of hit hard by these pearls. Like, I've just got to keep regening. My armor's not that good either, like, but his is a lot worse. He's coming in iron armor, so I'm going to keep stalking him till the pearls run out. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. He's, he's, I don't know what his plan is here. I'm stuck in a block. No, I'm not. I saw him just over here. Is he pearled away again? I don't know if he's luring me or what he's doing. If I was squid, oh, he's gone back that way. He's trying to escape here. He's trying to, I'm, he's trying to lose me. I can just tell here. Okay. You haven't lost me yet though, squid. If I can get him, it'll be a really, really helpful little thing. Oh, he's got the swiftness though. It's really, really being a pain is the swiftness. I landed a few hits, but He's like, what did he do? Did he turn? He went back the other way. I'm almost out of pearls here as well. <laughs> Will you stop enderpearling, squid? Please. <laughs> i got to try and make him run out, okay? Let's go. we got to go this. I'm going to run out soon as well. Man, it's this swiftness. I can't keep up with it. This is hardly a fight. I don't know how low he is, though. That's the kind of the important thing. I saw another enderpearl flying over that way. This is my last pearl as well. Didn't really bring this that many. I wasn't expecting something like this. I think I saw a pearl flying over here. So let's go over there. See if we can locate him anywhere. We're now in a tree. Okay, now we have no pearls. So if he gets away here, it's going to be an incredibly difficult task to catch up with him again. Okay? No sign whatsoever of squid. He's, uh... I think he's evaded me. If Finding him now, he's going to be, like, looking for a needle in a haystack. Do I have an ender chest on me? No, I don't. I couldn't, like, use an ender chest to go after him. I've lost a lot of my sense of direction as well, unfortunately. He's definitely hiding somewhere, and he's definitely got away from this one. He, um... You know what, I've got to give him props. I've got to say, well done, Squid, for showing up, okay? I think, thing is, Squid doesn't have a lot of good stuff. Um, I think he just needs to do a bit of mining and chanting and all that stuff. It's because he doesn't have an Enderman farm, I suppose, and he's lost a lot of stuff recently, so he doesn't have that much stuff. So, you, you saw he came to that battle with Iron Boots. I mean, he was always going to be in a bit of trouble there. 
So I'm glad he showed up. Well, I don't know if I was glad I wasted a load of stuff on him, but it was cool that he showed up. I can understand why he uh, why he ran away though. Okay, I don't know where he was, where he is now. He could be uh, he could be anywhere to be honest. But <laughs> I think he just wanted to get involved in the big beef. He's logged out now as well. He wasn't he wasn't taking no for an answer. I guess he doesn't get his bow back. But on the positive side here, we managed to get some stuff back. Look at that. We got. We got some, look, I mean, you got to say this was good stuff. I don't know, I saw Big B constantly putting stuff into a chest, so look at that, we've got plenty of uh, things. That, that happened. You know what? Revenge is sweet, and I never went even to say hello to Fred. Well, before the episode ends, we can go and say hello to Fred. Well, yeah, goodbye to Fred is more the thing, okay? He'll be in my house next episode. I'm sure he'll make the journey over, but right now he's, uh, he's looking after me shop. He's like, he's become a shopkeeper. Here we go. Fred! <laughs> he doesn't seem happy to see me. How you doing, buddy? I think you'll keep that there just so you don't wander off and get hurt, or nothing can get in at least. How you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. Um, sorry about the extortionate prices. We're not selling emeralds at the moment. Yeah, we've we've developed some cobwebs over here. Nobody comes here anymore, so yeah, cobwebs have started to uh, to gather up. Anyway, see you later, Fred. Good to have you back, though. Good to have you back. And I think that's going to end it for today's episode of Friend of Foe. Very very pleased that we got revenge on Big Beast Dance. He came to my base, took me out. I went to his base and took him out later on. So. Had to happen. Had to happen. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.